Good morning, evening, afternoon. This is Gamer Tia. We are back today with some medieval dynasty. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So we did a king's quest for Alfron's the Caring last season, and it gave us negative five on our taxes. So we have to pay five percent less on our taxes, and it gave us a plus two to overall happiness for our people. Uh, which is one of the main reasons you want to have a good king. Now, if this was a bad king, you would have the negative 5 on taxes, but you would have a negative 2 on happiness for your people. If it was a neutral king, you'd have negative 5 on taxes and 0 on happiness up or down. So, yeah. There's that. Look at this beautiful stuff we got to harvest today. This is the color of money, guys. You would think it'd be green or gold. But it's, yeah, I guess it's gold. It's a gold color, right? Uh, I did not get all this done. It was the middle of the night and the day ticked over. Still have the flax seeds in my hand. <laughs> oh, hey, is there something wrong with... Okay. Sorry, I was looking at the roofs and they look like they were damaged, but well, it's, I guess, a new texture. Don't know how I feel about that. So many things are changing. All right, let's put this in here. This in here. Animal feed's good. Let's get some buckets. Get our people some water. Fertilizer, very nice. Alright, let's get some water taken care of and then we'll uh, work on some other stuff. The simple things. <clears throat> it's summer, so we might actually have a heat problem. Uh, so we'll have to take off of our winter clothes. So far we haven't had to. Alright, bucket, 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 bucket. There we go. Plenty of more water for those peoples. 118 pottage, not bad. We should have some more cabbage in today. Do 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 do. Mm, I think I'm gonna. Nope, nope, we're not gonna do nothing. Tia, do nothing. All right, let's check our quest and see what we got going on. Alwyn wants us to talk to him. Okay, so I guess we'll talk to him. Big game. Uh, we got to kill a bear. Alwyn's story will line up for us to kill a bear too, so we might just hold off on that one. Let's go talk to Alwyn real quick, and then we'll be back. Uh, nope. Check tools first, Tia. So we want to make sure we have enough sickles to be able to get this harvest in. Tools. 17 stone sickles. Okay, so we're good. We're good there. I feel super short today. I'm not sure why. It's 8 o'clock. Everybody's going to their jobs. <gasps> we have a baby pig! Yes! That's a bacon bit right there. Hi! We still have to upgrade some of the buildings. And oh, our uh, horse is fully grown. By golly. Hi, Donut. We named it Donut because it looks like a sprinkled donut. Hi, girl. How's it going? Uh, we don't have a saddle. Okay. I'm thinking. Hold on. I'm trying to not overexcite myself. Uh, do we want to learn how to build a saddle? Hold on a second. Hold on. A saddle. Okay, we we don't have those materials. Two wool thread. Wait, hold on. Two tin bars. That's tin, not not uh, iron. Two tin bars. Two wool. Two linen fabric. Let's go look. 
build a saddle, then float the horse down the river. <laughs> Morning, Cole. We might actually have this from picking stuff up off the side of the road. We got two tin doors. Dun dun dun. Oh, we only have one wool thread. Darn it. Good to see you, man. <laughs> Alright, stay focused, dear. Uh, money? Yeah. Gerbs. Yeah. Misty said there was a lot of changes going on. They've been really busy. I don't think we have enough money for a saddle. <laughs> Why? Believe it or not, the ducks give as much meat as a boar does, which is hilarious. Just bebop this way. <sighs> yeah, it's been a pretty, uh, fast and quiet month, to be honest with you. Pretty relaxing, for the most part. The nieces and nephews get out of school next week, uh, so I might have some company on different days. Hi, geeses. Alright, let's find Alwyn. Alwyn. Uh, I don't have 200 monies. Alright, so he's ready to do the bear contest with me. As in, go hunt a bear. Uh, that's actually good, because it lines up with our chapter 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 quest. Chapter 8 quest. I think we've already looked in here like 5 million times. We can look again. I don't know about you, but if I saw barrels laying on the side of the river that nobody wanted, I would haul them back to my home. Same thing with the broken carts. I wouldn't leave that stuff on the side of the road. Alright, I think we'll have everything we need except the wool thread for the saddle, so I think I think we might do that. We'll take some seeds as some uh, money. Some seed money. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I cracked myself up. Alright. Let's grab some seeds. Flax. Coin. I'm gonna double check that's wool thread because that's gonna be really crappy if it's not. And we go all the way up there to get it. <clears throat> Two wool thread. Okay. We've committed. Hmm. 
Hmm. Good old coffee. It's only, what, cup one this morning? I got the second one kind of prepped in the uh, coffee. Ready to go. All I gotta do is push a, push a button. So I didn't play after the last restart of Atlas, but it looks like they're doing another restart sometime soon. They basically do a wipe when they have some really big stuff to push out. And they keep saying, hey, we're in early access, so expect wipes. And then everybody gets upset when they wipe. But yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what they're doing. I don't know. I feel like they're taking it in a weird direction. Jeez. What do you call a herd of bunnies? <laughs> Hop along, Cassidy. I should probably check our people and see what uh, what they are doing because I think a couple of them are going to have babies so we need to know which jobs are not being fulfilled at the moment management, people ah oh. <sighs> that's painful all twos for a kid It's fine, guys. It's fine. One, three. So here comes the kids, I guess. <clears throat> We're almost here. Come on. Uh, we need to find the nice lady that has the sheep scissors. I guess we should just look and see if we have any good people here. Nope. Trash pandas. How row? An unfamiliar face. Welcome. Sorry, I'm not going to help you. Not because you're not nice, just because I don't have time. Hail, friend. Hail, friend. Um, I thought you would have wool thread. I don't know why I thought that, but... Farewell. See you soon. <laughs> All right. Run all the way over here. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to know how much we could sell a saddle for. Yeah, that's where I'm heading to next. I spent 500 monies learning how to make saddles, but didn't have the materials for it. Hello. Hello there. Morning, Mir, by the way. <laughs> There's goods in the valley. Alrighty. Ah, they have worked on the uh, icons a lot better. I like that. So it's 624 monies for a saddle. It's not bad. We paid 500 to learn how to do it ourselves. It's 130 per thread. That's expensive. Not enough coins. I 
All right. Actually, we're going to buy one more. Because we're glutton for punishment. What? How much? How many thread discs do we have? All right, we have six total. Perfect. I'm gonna craft two extra saddles. We'll see how she goes. <laughs> Money. Wait, how much money do we have? Okay, we have enough to finish Alvin's challenge, so we'll grab the monies. Drop the thread. Do 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 Tools. These one. Alright, we'll go in here and uh, get some tin and some copper. He's like, and I'm tired. Come on, fella. You got it. This is why you really need to have better tools. Uh, just, you don't have to hit the rock so dang many times. Waste so much stamina and energy. Which also drops your food and water. Alright. Back into the house. We're going to make three saddles. Uh, we're going to use one now that we have a, our horses ready. And then we're going to sell two. I think we should probably... I want to get some sheep going too. We have, we have a lot to do. We're supposed to actually be upgrading the uh, the village right now, but I figured it was adventure time today. Ugh. Let's go talk to him real quick, Alwyn. <laughs> this should put us uh, hunting a bear for chapter eight, nine, something. V plus three. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Alwyn's story. Both of them should have us hunting bears in just a second. Well, probably more than a second, because it takes a little while to jaunt on over there. A lovely morning. I was, uh, I think I was playing farm sim yesterday and there was a really loud bird. There's that morning whistle at you. And, uh, I thought it was in game and then I took my headset off and it was not in game. He was right outside on my, uh, 
Well, pretty much near my window. Just singing away. We're almost there. Wow. Challenge accepted, Alwyn. You're gonna owe me money. Hunt the bear. Hunt the bear. It works perfectly. <laughs> Howdy, Mark. Welcome, welcome. Doom, dooby doo, doom, doom. So we got uh, chapter 8 and Alwyn's story lined up to hunt a bear. We'll go, probably go ahead and knock that out day one. I also went up and got some wool thread to, uh, to make a saddle with because our horse is fully grown now. Which will save us some run time. Hmm. Thirsty today, so kind of chugging Gatorade a little bit. Uh, for the bear, we're gonna try to get max distance. I don't even, I don't even want to cuddle the bear. I just want to make sure we survive this. Alright, so linen thread. Ten bars. Wool thread. And fabric, but no. Ah, okay. So we're gonna have to thrash flax too. Man, the bear hunting might be tomorrow. Uh, yes, I end up doing something different every time, but not a huge variant of it. Like, I have certain things that I actually really like because I played it uh, so many times through. And, like, farming is one of the things I really love to get situated. Um, whereas a lot of people don't even use farming in their playthrough. Like, you could literally just have a hunter and then have the cook cook meat and the people eat the cooked meat. And you never have to touch farming. But... Farming is one of my favorite things to do in the game. And I'm not a very good hunter, as you can tell by, uh, <laughs> watch. <laughs> Management. Here's my son, Eric. He has a zero in hunting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do what you like. But yeah, um, there's a lot of variables and stuff like that for how to make money and different things like that. It's just like, I, I prefer doing something I like uh, versus something that you have to do. So sometimes I follow the quest line and sometimes I completely ignore it. Uh, it's usually a mix and match. Alright, we're going to go up here to the barn and thrash some flax and so we'll have some flax to, uh, to make thread out of. Hi pigs! Hi, bacon bit. Alright, so two of the fields is getting taken care of. Excellent. Everybody's working hard. That's awesome. Alright, let's see here. And flax. Let's do 60 pounds. I 
Ah, 1,260 pounds. That works. Uh, I actually could this time because all my all my stuff's on this side of the river. But I usually don't because, um, not for anything bad or anything. I just, I don't like being smushed in. And because there's not an actual need for the ramparts to defend, uh, I usually leave it open. The highest I usually go is like the stone walls sometimes because they look really cool. But anybody needing to could step over those and raid the village if village raiding was a thing. Which thankfully it is not. <laughs> Yeah, I have I have trouble moving away from my home spot, um, which is over to the side of Gustovia, because that's where I first put my stuff up, and that's kind of like where my brain tells me home is. Hey, Rick. Uh, no, no. As much as I love fast crafting, I try to only give myself one perk per season, and this season is um. This season is uh, extra tech points, so we might actually be able to open the mine and the windmill, which I'm excited about both of those. I kind of think they should have two levels of mines, like one level of mine does the tin and copper and uh, salt, and then the second level digs deeper into the uh, iron, but sadly that's not, that's not the case. But I definitely wouldn't mind a mid-tier mine. Yeah, tech points was the, the... Oh, no, no, you don't lose any. You don't lose any. Uh, but I try not to, like, uber myself. Uh, and I know, like, streaming people absolutely love to have, like, the stamina and the fast crafting and everything else like that on. Because those are awesome. Uh... But we used to play only vanilla, like no perks at all. Uh, last season we tried fast crafting, which was amazing. It definitely changed how you play the game. And then uh, this season we chose tech points. But no, you, you still gain all your XP and everything else with fast crafting. So does your... Uh, Sadly, fast crafting does not affect your uh, subordinates. Remember my time stand everything? <laughs> nice. Uh, I tried like 200% skill gain to try it because unfortunately I don't have you and your people separated for skill gain. Um, so I tried the skill gain to try to level my, my people up and... I was dinging like every five minutes and I hated it. So another thing that uh, would be cool is to have a uh, separate skill, uh, like skill gain for you and your people. I'm surprised he's not dying of heat stroke. He has his winter clothes on and he's doing heavy labor. Must be an Amazon employee. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Yeah, it's summertime, so it's got to be like heat cap 5. All right, we're going to we're going to hold off for right there. We should have enough to be able to finish what we need. Flax seeds. Uh, I think we need leather as well. Ok, 
Okay, let's go make some thread. Nice, so they started on this one too. Excellent. This is looking pretty good. For day one. <laughs> All right, uh, here, right? Yeah, linen thread. Hi, Chavez, how's it going? Yes, right now I have enough people to uh, harvest all the things. Uh, sure. My community likes sharing info, so, so sure. Oh, uh, Stream Elements, thank you for reminding me. Uh, if you've been enjoying the content community and like to support the channel, please consider following, subscribing, thumbs up, high five, low five, all the stuff and things here on Twitch, over on YouTube and on Twitter. Your support is much appreciated. I always forget to say that, so I make stream elements tell me about once every two hours. <laughs> I've been playing MD and War Tales. Nice. Uh, how's War Tales, by the way? Are we started playing to see the new stuff, new decorations in year four? Sleeping 12 hours. <laughs> uh, well, uh, one of the cooler things is that if you decide to do longer seasons, uh, on day three, you can sleep through the entire season, which is actually really awesome. In my humble opinion. Alright, saddles. Uh, so we need linen fabric. Okay, let's do some linen fabric. Tia, this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, I've been playing uh, Medieval Dynasty since September when it first came out. Uh, two years ago. And then it finally did full release last September. Which is really cool. But yeah, I enjoy it. It's very relaxing for me. Oh! Uh, Chavez, they dropped that down to 300 coins. Yeah, they, they nerfed that one. <laughs> we'll have tons of money coming in. It's Oh, crud. Hold on. Uh, F5. I didn't realize that Alwyn, you had to kill the bear in the same day. Ruh row raggy. Alright, guys, we have to go kill a bear real quick. Drop. Drop. Mistakes were made. All right. Uh, row, row. I know, Donut, but I'm going to have to run up there myself because I didn't have enough stuff to do the saddles yet. Or did I? I feel like I just messed up. All right. No. here there you go yeah no um no on the coins anymore 
uh, 3,000 is now 300 uh, due to changes. All right, pottage. Oh, good morning, evening, afternoon. All right, let's get some water, and then we gotta go k kill a bear really quick. We're gonna die. I, I I wasn't paying attention to the timeline on this. I am. Let's go for our bear right here. Yes, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course, Chavez. Or Levi, depending on which one. <laughs> Which one do you want to go by? Oh, guys, we might have to roll back. We'll see. We'll see if we uh, don't make it. Because there's no way to freeze time. All right. So, when you accept Alwyn's quest to kill the bear, you only have that day to do it. So it's an eight hour day. Mistakes were made. Just in feathers? <laughs> Well, I wasn't paying attention, so when it hit 2 hours and 30 minutes, I was like, oh, crud. And it's going to be dark and we're going to be hunting a bear, so nothing good can come of this. <laughs> Alright, we have an hour and 30 minutes slash probably a few minutes. For reals, minutes. Alright, we're going to get eyes on the bear, and then I'm going to save. Here, let me hit F5 here. That way we don't have to run up here again. There are two bears. There's one. Nothing like hunting a bear in the dark. He's not dead. Whoop! I think he saw me. Should be bleeding out by now. Cr 
crud monkeys. I have eight minutes, seven, six, five. Oh, <laughs> dudes, we did it with like no time left. And there's another bear down here, and we're gonna get killed. Uh, F5. That one, that one was pretty close. <laughs> 10 of 10 would not recommend. <laughs> Uh, all right. Good job, team. We did it. A little bit nerve-wracking. I'm looking around for my arrows, but I think they're they're gone. Gone, girl. With the arrows. All right. Mm. Just for the satisfaction, we are going to go wake Alwyn up in the middle of the night. Oop. I actually only use the torch when we have uh, wolves on our tail. So, sorry guys. Oh, hey! Uh, yeah. Killed the bear and got some wine. I'd call that a win. I love the fact that you can now wake up the quest giver in the middle of the night. It's my favorite. Otherwise, you had to wait till like 7.30, 8 in the morning when they're ready to talk to you. Which killed quest really bad. Dooby doo, dooby doo, dooby doo, doom doom. It's gonna be funny if we owe him 200 monies because we missed it by a second. We'll see though. If it is, I'll accept my fate. It is. It is what it is. Should have paid a bit of attention. Doobie, doobie, doo. <laughs> what are you still doing up, Alan? Someone ordered a big bad bear. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Aww. Alan's like, take my money. Dude, that was that was that was super close. I'm glad that's done though. How many arrows did we lose? We lost five arrows. That's okay. That's okay. And we won a longbow. Better nice. We still haven't had to give Alwyn the recurve bow. I prefer the longbow than the recurve bow, uh, personally. So we'll probably switch that out. Um, I've just been holding on to the recurve bow in case uh, Alwyn wants it. Alright, so Alwyn is a next season problem. We're done with our chapter quests, uh, only because we already have a kid and a wife. If we didn't have a kid and a wife, we would have another chapter to do. But, we already did it. Completed. So, big game. Here's the, uh, the bow, moose, wisent, and bear. Killed. We just finished that one. Newcomers is you need 10 people in your village and have five workers okay and we definitely have more than that and then 
chapter 10 is have a wife, have an heir, and gain 5,000 dynasty rep, which we already did. So yeah, there was two more chapters after the kill a bear quest uh, for the for the chapter quests, but like I said, they're already done. Do 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 do. Would would definitely not recommend hunting a bear in the middle of the night. That's a little nerve wracking. Uh, food. Twenty-five for the the fella. Two hundred and fifty-four. I think we're probably gonna have to up our ca ca cabbage territory just a little bit. Let me see here. Uh, M for manage. Fields. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cabbage. We're gonna go ahead and up that to five. That way we have no trouble for food because we have a lot more people coming in with the kids starting to show up now. All about tells you how many taxes you got going and then your food crop type here. This is awesome. I know, it's dark guys. Tia, you're already, you're already in here, what are you doing? Hi, buddy. And asleep. Daylight. Hi, wife. How is life treating you? Do 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 be do be do be do 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 be do be do do. Uh, saddle for the horse. We have all the things that we need. Donut deserves a saddle. Actually, Donut would probably be happy not to have the saddle, but I need the saddle because I want to be able to ride around if I want to ride around. <laughs> All right, brain, work with me. We need linen fabric. I'm gonna take linen thread too, just in case, and this one. And tin, tin bar, I'm gonna take tin iron, wool thread. I feel like we're missing something, but I don't know what it is. So we'll just have to wait. I'm gonna take this horseshoe. Mm, ten bars. So we paid 130 on thread times two. So 260 expense because we don't have any uh sheep scissors <laughs> three saddles Doom, 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 doom,
Doom, doom, doom, doom, doom, doom. I hear you, Donut. We'll be there soon. All right, good job. Hats? These are my favorite to make because it's one of one. Now I'm going to step away for just a second because I need some more coffee. I'll be right back. Alrighty, coffee's a brewing. Yeah, man, perfect timing. Donut, where are you? Hi, Donut. Here's your new saddle. I know you're super excited about that. Uh, so horses are weird. You aim at them and click on the item you want on there after the saddle's on them. And hit F like you're equipping it to yourself. But it will equip it to the horse. Now, as you can see, that red circle. So, if you have a saddle bag or something like that, you have to do the same thing. And, yeah. Uh, horseshoes reduce the stamina consumption when galloping. Hi, Donut. Piranhas. <laughs> He's not a very good writer, as you can see. Sorry, lady. Watch out. Coming through. Thank you, Donut. How are you? Hi. Never disappoint. Have some apple juice and some cherry wine and tin hats. Some pear wine. Ooh, so it looks like with our own materials and buying thread, 336 for a saddle. That's actually really not good. So we'd have to have sheep to make this profitable. But we are selling two saddles. Well, one saddle because she can't afford it. Alright, let's go find somebody else to buy the other saddle. Doom, dooby, doom, dooby, doom, doom, doom. So it's 300 and something for the saddle. Makes me a little sad, but that's okay. Hey, buddy. You know what? No. We're going to keep that saddle. That's ours now. Come on, Donut. Eh. I'm a horrible driver. I wonder if he looks better riding once he actually has some skills in riding. Or he just always looks this dorky. It's totally fine. Thank you for the lift, Donut. I appreciate you. Hi, Dan! Alright. Hi, 
bad, right? I will definitely take the stand and stretch. I think my coffee's done, so I might have to step away for just a second. Good to see you, Dan. I'll be right back. Do, 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 do. Yes, delicious, delicious coffee. Coffee flavored coffee. All right, we have two thousand monies, guys. Oh yeah. Put this up. Saddles going in here. Ten bar. Fur. So far, so good today, guys. We've uh got quite a bit done. We have enough logs for the thousand log challenge once we ever get there. Two full 100% long bows. Not too shabby. <laughs> A ton of stones. Wooden bowls, wooden shovels. Okay. I feel pretty good about that. So we're going to go up here and see where they're at on the fields. So we have two days left to get all the harvest in. And I definitely want all the harvest in. Because I'm greedy. And... Well, no, it's not greedy. If you work for something and receive it, I don't think that's greed. Gonna take two stone sickles. Pretend we're T Rexes for a minute and go harvest. With our little T Rex arms. <laughs> the reason I call it T Rex arms is if you're here. Oh, I don't like that. I gotta scooch out. Sorry. He's using a ton of stamina. Doom, dooby, doom, dooby, doom, doom, dooby, doom. Uh, I have grown other stuff. I was doing vegetable stew for a while. But normally flax is what I hit the hardest and cabbage is enough to feed my people making pottage and also using pottage sometimes as money uh, before the flax gets going really good. But I plan on expanding two more 16 by 16s up there uh, and that will be flax because flax is what brings in the most money and you can use the, uh, the flax to train your crafters the fastest. Because when they're doing linen thread, uh, they level up the fastest. Although some people will say meat will level them up just as fast, like cooking meat. But, yeah. But traditionally, it's, it's cabbage and flax for me. Thank you. 
Uh, because flax is so profitable, we're actually just, um, just buying the animal feed at this point. And the animal feed, the only animals we have right now are the horse and, uh, four little, four pigs and one baby pig. We'll rotate out one of the pigs, uh, that way we have this fella coming in every once in a while for some extra monies as well. And that's why we can't have nice things. But at one point, in one of the seasons I did, I did a 16 by 16, half of it in wheat, and half, oh sorry, half of it in oats, and half of it in rye, so we can make the animal feed. And I felt like I was losing time and money. Um, so after that, we decided we'll just do flax and buy it. Because once you have barter three and you're selling flax, even just flax seeds, and not even the hats, which the hats bring a lot more monies. Um, yeah, it's it's a nice exponential growth for monies. Uh, and we have never had enough tech points to unlock the very last tavern, so we have not done any type of wine or bread or anything like that. Um, and I'm kind of wanting to do that as well. So we might have to do a field of wheat. But I want to have another barn up, uh, before then. Or barn three. Dependent. Alright, I'm going to step away for just a second. I'll be right back. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and invest in some horse, or not horses. Uh, invest in some dun 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 sheep sisses pretty soon. But I think we have three more spots, either two or three more spots for females, and I would like them to be farmers. Let it go, Elsa. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let me look. Management, houses. So we have two more spots for females, I think. Yep. Hunting. So we need a woodcutter. We actually don't need a woodcutter, we have plenty. <laughs> Kitchen. Smithy storages. Okay, not bad. We have a spot for two more females. Uh, I do think we'll go ahead and make a fold real quick, though. I wasn't planning on doing that this start, but we might as well get it situated. <laughs> Two sticks. <laughs> we definitely need more sticks than straw. All right, dear sheep sisses, where are we gonna put you? Um, building animals, sheep sisses. North. Boop. I'm not opposed. That's actually a decent spot. Oh yeah, we need stones for the foundations now. Hi, Brian. Yeah, we're walking. Yeah, we don't have money to buy the sheep yet, but uh, hey, dude. You know, if you entomb yourself, it's not my problem. <gasps> Kit, hey, hey. How is life treating you? Move. I know, he's like, he's like, you've only said two things to me. You said, go to my village, and you said, move. That's some quality time right there. <laughs> yep, more straw, more stick. Ah, ah. My eyes don't like anything this morning. Hello, mister. Hello there. Ugh, small talk. What's on your mind? Nature always overwhelmed me. I prefer harnessed and in place. Square-shaped field, straight forest edges, reinforced cave mines make me feel safer and calmer. Hey, me too, buddy. How's your day going? It's the halfway point of the year. Think of how much labor has already been done up until now, and imagine the same amount of work is still ahead of us. Get to work. Have a good day. You too, buddy. Alright. Pigs, go fetch some sticks. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna... We're going to do this. We're gonna get somebody for our sheepfold, which is gonna be a farmer. And then we're also going to get another woodcutter, because uh, my wife has a baby and can't be a woodcutter right now. Mm -hmm. 
We always pick the smallest houses so that way the people in the village can only have one kid instead of two. Quite frankly, we should have made separate housing for everybody, but I couldn't afford the taxes. <laughs> Alright, pick up some straw. Oh. Alright, drink your water. Cry, baby. Yeah. A decree in the land. No kids. Until you've reached skill level 6 and everything. <laughs> Hi, Silver. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not a fan of drama llamas myself. We, we get enough of that in the real world, right? I like I like calmness and chill and having some coffee in the morning and just relaxing and breathing for five seconds. That's why I like playing relaxing games and stuff like that. Yeah, this channel actually started out because um, I'm I'm kind of a hermit for the most part. Slash, if I can get away with it, I would never be outside my house. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not really social, but, um, yeah, I was starting to notice, like, decline in, like, mental stuff because you're not talking to people. Um, and so I decided to start this channel and pretty much just have coffee in the morning and play some video games and that's it. So... Yeah, I don't need to talk much. About an hour and a half to two hours is about all I got. <laughs> and then I'm peopled out for a while. Okay, brain. Uh, hammer. Yep. I figure a couple a couple days a week, like, Mon I do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, because I was trying to do it every day and I got, I got burnt really hard. Like, uh... And so yeah, so yeah, I'll stick to it with my strengths every once in a while, hang out, drink some coffee, play some chill video games, and yeah, that's it. It's my coffee hour. There we go. Mm, biggest tip when starting this game, make sure you're set up before you grab people. And what I mean by that is make sure you have your resource and food storage up and that you know you need firewood and water for your people. So covering your basic necessities before you get a, a person. Otherwise you're going to be super stressed. Uh, they're going to be angry and they will leave. And that's just too much too much stuff. So I usually have my woodcutter, hunter, or woodcutting place, hunter lodge. Um, both my storages for food and for resources up before I build my first house. And now that they have a well, you don't have to live by water. But this is my home. This is where I always set up. I usually have my house right over there. But I moved it over here today. This, or this season. 
Yeah, that'd be that would be definitely be my starter tip. Cause that's the only thing that stressed me out in the game so bad that I actually like had to like <laughs> breathe for five seconds, like what is going on? Okay. Brain, what are you doing? Do we finish the fold? I think we did. Uh inform management buildings fold. Yep, she's ready. Maranas. Aw, thank you. And welcome welcome to our little community. Uh I a love flax because um once you get it going, you have you can sell the seeds for money. You can make clothing and sell the clothing for money. Uh, they did a rebalance. Not uh, oh, I guess it is a little bit while ago. Uh, clothes used to not be worth much, and now they actually did like the math and stuff behind them. So we actually have a better profit off of uh, that. So I do flax for money, and I make these little coifs right here, which is one linen fabric and one linen thread. But that is the easiest route for money. Now, when you first start out and you don't have any flax and stuff and you're trying to get your chef done, uh, stone knives is going to be your money maker for year one and possibly year two. I call them antique stone knives because I find it amusing. <laughs> All right, throw all that in there. Man, our villagers are going through water this time. Yeah, of course, happy happy to help. A lot of people here uh, have played the game quite a bit and they like, they like helping people too. Water goes in the food storage. Feathers. <laughs> You're not wrong. Especially now that there's birds on the map, you can actually hunt and make money through feathers, but uh that's I don't ever hunt, so <laughs> you can also do I think it was it was like a bird trap too. Let me think. Right, we're gonna catch a sleep real quick and then I'm gonna go get uh, uh I'm gonna go get people. We need one to cut wood and one to work in the fold. Hi wife, good to see you. Have a lovely day. Alright, donut, let's go. Let's go gather some people. Oh, you use hunting lodges to get the feathers? Smart. I have so much meat that I should probably switch it out to feathers for sale. <laughs> Donut. Yeah, let's pop. Let's check here first for people. We just got our saddle. Our now horse grew up this season, so. We bought a baby horse because I didn't have enough money. But it's a full grown adult. Alright. Uh, trash pandas. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Veronica. By the way, my pronunciation of the places is not uh, correct 99.9% .9 of the time. That's the way my brain interpreted how I read it, so that's what I say.
You know something that would be cool? Is if we saw the villages up upgrade themselves, or if we could help the villages upgrade themselves. I was just thinking about that. Alright, males, we have no- oh god, that- this is what an absolute trash panda looks like. All ones. Badness. But we only have room for two females, so yeah, even if he's a hunter. Do 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 do. And I didn't bring money, so we can't buy sheep scissors yet. Hi guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get hunting XP for placing the rabbit trap. That's not a bad suggestion at all. It's a pretty good one. We've been uh, pretty lazy. We haven't done any of the hunting stuff, which is why my kid has a zero in hunting. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. That, that's too do I can't do that. I have a three threes rule. So they at least have to have three threes to get in the village. But I've been lax on that, and because I have been, we have trash pandas in the village. Dun, dun, dun. It's not a horrible thing, but it does slow down production quite a bit. Twelve traps equal 100 hunting points. I think the most I've ever done in a day was maybe three traps. Or, it's the same trap, but three times. Well, that's good to know, 100, 100, 112 traps is 100 points. Words are hard. How bro? Ooh, okay. This one is good. Hi. How is life treating you? See you there, lady. Management. I would like you in this house, thank you. And if you don't mind, I would like you to be in the woodshed. Thank you. Excellent. So we need one more farmer. Hello, baby donkey. Oh, hey, there's a rat trap, too. Mir, I don't think I've ever set the, the rat trap. I did the bird trap when I was needing, uh, needing feathers at one point. There's that beautiful new windmill we got. We don't have one yet, because we're not up there yet, but we'll get there. Man, I'm surprised this guy hasn't passed out from horse riding yet. <laughs> Trash panda. Okay. Hey, lady. Oh, that's a little kid. Never mind. Alright, next stop. We'll hit Dinica and then over here. That's one of the reasons I absolutely love horses, is because you actually have time to do stuff. Uh, she can gallop a mower. It says very nice. Badger and wolf spot. Hi, puppy. No puppy. I'm not trying to stay in your territory. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Ooh. Okay. Just making sure no wolves are following me before I started picking stuff up. Cherry trees. Yes. Also, cow shed's been open. 
I don't think we ever had cows either. Because I usually use goats for milk. Cows giving manure would be really awesome. In, but they don't do that in this game. Alright. This road. Thankfully badgers are not aggressive. In this game. My golly. All kinds of loot today in there. Excuse me, village. I need a I need a gatherer. I need or not gather a uh, farmer. Please, please. Uh, trash bin it is. All right. Next stop, Lesnia, Linzica, something or other. Uh, at least we can stop in here and get some iron uh, arrows to top us back up to 20. Also, we're hungry. This probably needs to do something about that. Doom, 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 dooby, doom, doom, dooby, doom. Come on, horse, you got this. Yeah, with that much headbanging, the uh, it's actually stressful on the horse if you ride like that. Just gonna throw that out there. Sorry, horse. All right, fingers crossed. Lady? Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta I gotta play some musical chairs with some peoples. All right, farmer, four. I'm gonna switch you out, and you're gonna go to the fold. Okay. New girl. I'm gonna put you in the field. So that you can learn how to farm. There we go. I don't have any money on me, do I? Nope. Of course I don't. Alright, Donut. That's all the people we, c we need right now. Let's head back to the village before I starve to death. Dooby doop doop doop. Lady, you're on your own. Part of joining the villages, making it to the village to live. Good luck. Godspeed. Do, 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 do. A five. Good, good, good call. Good call. Thank you, Mir. This feels like an ambush spot. I know it's not, but it feels like it. Alright, let's go. Do, 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 do,
I hold donut away. Right? It's part of the farming tree. Once you get stables, you'll be able to go uh, purchase horses up in Hornica. Which thankfully makes the map travel much, much faster. A lot of people say the map is too small, but I, I kind of don't agree with that because there's only so many hours in a day. A lacrosse stick to help pick up stones while riding. <laughs> no pig. Nope, nope, nope. Come on, horse, keep running. That pig will gouge you. I know. We're out of food now. We're almost we're almost home with a horsey. <laughs> Just gotta make it to the food storage. All right. Thank you, Donut. Go have a rest. Jeez, there was a hundred and like ten pottages earlier. Look how many they they ate them. They ate them so fast. All right, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on our food. For sure. I I know you don't have any stuff yet. Okay, calm down. Stash some cooked meat in the saddlebags. That's a good idea. All right, sweet. So everything is harvested. Excellent. I'm pretty pleased. That's awesome. Uh, our cabbage is planted. Perfect. And these fields will be prepped for next spring. So, I mean, you can't ask for better than that. That's pretty much perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 62 on animal feed. Alright, we'll have to watch that. Tons of feathers. I could definitely sell those. Linen thread coming in hot. Very nice. Have our extra saddle there. What's our tools look like? Stone knives, three. Oh, okay. So we're going to need more stone knives, more pickaxes. Stone knives, pickaxes, gotcha. Uh, 
Yes, we could. Uh, but I think we'll have enough. So fall time, uh, we're going to focus on making the hats and getting all the, um, all the linen stuff situated. And we'll be able to go buy one male sheep and maybe two, possibly three female sheep. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. But I kind of want to keep the uh, adult pigs because we need that fertilizer uh, for expanding the fields. And the baby pigs unfortunately don't make any fertilizer. It's an insane amount of stones. Alright, I think I'm going to cut down on how many logs we have, because we don't need... We're kind of excessive on logs right now, but we definitely need sticks. So I'm going to go to management, buildings, woodshed. I'm going to drop logs down to 20 a day from this one. We have two wood sh woodsheds going, by the way. Whatever whole number. There we go, 18. There we go. 18 and 63, that works. Let's look at this one. Drop this one down too. Oops. We'll do 18. And then firewood. 15. 18, 18, 15. That's acceptable. So now our firewood will beef up and our sticks will come back in. And we'll be able to make uh, tools that we need to make. I think I'm going to go ahead and make some of this type of stuff. Let's see here. <laughs> and... All right, Tia, remember how you have a actual you have another one of these down here so you don't have to carry all that. <laughs> Pigs just chill it out. Eh. Hi horsey. Okay, here. Doom, do, 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 Slow and steady. I really do like the fact that they decorated some of this stuff. It's not quite so bland anymore. Kitchen 2. Heck yeah. Uh, stone weapons. Nope. Hello. Uh. Have a good day. Alright. Let's go get 10 logs. Some sticks. Wow, that did not work out like I planned. Hi, my name's Tia, and I would like to take some sticks. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'll take some money too, just in case. All right. Uh, excuse me. I would like to craft some things. Bronze, iron, tools. <laughs> Bronze tools. Ah, there we go. The pickaxe. That's what I was looking for. Alright, so bronze bars, we need some of those. Doo -doo. I need to step away from FS22 and start playing this again. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I have this scheduled for two days a week. Morning, Mike! Scusi. Scusi. Hi, get off the anvil. It's my turn. Yay. All right. Bronze tools. Not bronze weapons. Bronze tools. Uh, this one. And this one. Things going pretty good. A little slow, but that's okay. Like, relaxing slow, not like, too slow. Ugh. Man, it's gonna be a whole new ship. Do they even do exit interviews anymore? Or at all? Yeah, I didn't get one either. I was just curious because usually if you have people leaving that quickly, they do exit interviews so they can see what the problems are. Although most people will just smile and say nothing's wrong. <laughs> Copper. <laughs> All right, you keep doing your stuff for the linen thread. I'm going to leave you alone. I am going to go thrash some flax until it's time, though. Just to help speed this up just a little bit. I made some iron pickaxe, or er, sorry, bronze pickaxes, so next time we'll go up to the mine and do some mining, I think. <laughs> nice, so this field's completely done. Better nice. And they'll have all year to work on the rest of this stuff. Uh, let's go get some water real quick since we're halfway down on water. Yeah, Atlas is resetting, so I might jump in on the reset after like the first day and hop in there and mess with some stuff, but I don't know yet. I don't know. That game takes up a lot of time if you let it. One fertilizer. Manure. Alright, we're doing flax, right? Yeah, flax. 1200. Now we can do 13. We have time. <laughs> it's so heavy.
actually before we do that, uh, management, M technology, management, buildings, barn, this one. All right, we're gonna drop work in fertilizer. I need you on flax. At least until it's done. There you go. And that won't take effect until next season because they're pretty much done working for the day. Hmm. All right, let me get my notepad here. We killed the bears, killed the pigs. We paid the taxes. We did Alwyn's quest. All right, so we need to upgrade. Sewing hut, kitchen, woodshed, uh, resource shed, at mine, Man, legibility is not my, uh, definitely not my thing. Uh, we need to build two houses. And then recruit four farmers. And we need to build another barn. And then we need to build two 16 by 16 fields for flax. And this is before year five. So we have fall and winter to do this. Okay, there we go. That's the plan. Yes, check tools. I do need to check tools. Uh, that's why we made the ten knives and the uh, five bronze pickaxes. Because that's, that's the tools we were shy on. I really wish we could uh, have a tier one mine up there to to get the tin and the copper. That would help out a lot. <laughs> It's also one of the reasons I'm upping the uh, the the stick collection and stuff next season. <laughs> All right, let go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite make it. <laughs> All right. Thinking. All right, so we're pretty pretty good on everything. Uh, management, buildings, excavation shed. I'm gonna drop this down to 30 for right now because we have almost 600 rocks. There we go. And we're gonna add limestone because we're gonna start upgrading some of the buildings. There we go. We don't have anybody on the well, because, well, <laughs> it's 
Sorry, I amused myself. Hunting Lodge. We could have two more hunters, but we don't need them. I'm going to drop this down to 50 meter day. And then we'll switch out some feathers for some monies. I don't think that'll be much money, but that's okay. Fold. We don't have any sheep scissors yet. But we will eventually, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. We'll have to have shears, actually, when we have more sheep. I forgot that. Pigsty. We're 100% for that. Perfect. Stable doesn't have any output. But that's okay. Just like double checking everything and making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Kitchen, pottage, six. Sewing hut. Alright, now that we actually have linen thread, we're going to switch this 100% to linen thread so we can level up faster. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Smithy. We have him making trash tools, but that's okay. It is what it is. It's what we got for right now. And we don't have anybody in the workshop, as there shouldn't be. Okay. Nice. So all in all, we got everything we need. Got a little bit further ahead in the chapter quest for sure than we expected to do today. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it right there. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Have a lovely weekend. Happy Friday the 13th apparently. So knock on wood or whatever, whatever you do superstition wise. But yeah, take care of yourselves. Have a good weekend and I will see you guys Monday. 9.30 Central Standard Time here on Twitch to play some more Medieval Dynasty. Bye guys, take care.